Hi guys, this is Shivadi. In this session, I'm going to explain important uh, interview question and answers. That is, how you troubleshoot the performance uh, issue for your application. I am trying to cover with the most of the use cases which basically cause the performance issue for the application. So it is up to you how you basically represents the um, represents the answer as per your experience. In general, whenever there is a performance issue for an application, first thing what we are going to check is whether our application is basically using the load balancer or not. If our application is using the load balancer, then first we need to make sure that whatever the instances is available for that load balancer is up and running fine. If any of the instances are down, then we need to make sure that those instances should be bring up as soon as possible. And let us suppose if your application is does not um, have any load balancer, that means it is a single instance, then directly you can come to the uh, the next point. Is there any let network latency for the internet? We generally seen if the application is running for a long time and uh, all of a sudden you feel uh, there is a um, performance issue for your application there could be a possibility that the inter the network um, uh, latency for your uh, your internet might be slow that basically result into your application uh, performance also goes down that is the reason first we have to check is there any um, network latency in the internet if that is that issue is basically if you are sort out that there is no network issue for the internet then the next uh, question uh, the next step what you have to do is first we need to see if there any recent deployment happened for our application now if there is any recent deployment happened then that means the recent code might be causing this performance issue then we know which part of the code are the what is what are the changes happened on that particular deployment we can focus on them now let us suppose there is no recent deployment also happened in that case the next step what we have to see is how the um, basically you have to monitor the cpu and uh, memory utilization of the your jvms and the load balancer now once you monitor the cpu utilization and the memory utilization if there is any uh, spike in the utilization of the speak, uh, cpu or the memory utilization then we need to focus on what uh, functionality is basically causing that uh, spikes in the either cpu or the memory utilization let us suppose the cpu and the memory utilization also fine then the next step what we have to do is we need to ID, we need to check if there is any deadlocks or the memory leaks in the application using the monitoring tools like as per your uh, application technology for example if you are using any uh, java technology then you can use the j console or the j java machine control so these are the tools basically help you to monitor the performance of your application with respect to the deadlocks and the memory uh, leaks or the uh, heap dumps so first identify if there is any uh, sort of like a deadlocks or the memory leaks in your application if you found if you using these monitoring tools and find there is a, some problem with your code or the memory leaks or the deadlocks found then basically we have to first trouble or we have to fix those type of issues and let us suppose you don't have any deadlocks and also no memory leaks the next step will come to oh, the picture is which part of the basically identify which part of the uh, functionality experiencing the latency let us consider out of application you might have a 10 functionality out of that one functionality might be basically causing the latency in that case the next step what we have to do is first identify the which uh, which uh, functional area or the which uh, functionality basically causing the latency and uh, if your application supporting the transaction logs in the UI then first go to the transaction log and identify how much time basically it is taking it if your transaction if your application does not support the transaction logs then ideally you have to go to the browser and say yeah, press F12 and then you have a you can go ahead and monitor the all the network uh, calls whatever happen uh, network calls for your application 
and identify how much time it is uh, taking for that particular request or the set of requests. Now, once you identify, let us consider there is a 60 seconds or 120 seconds is particular request is taking, then we need to further um, drill down to the where exactly these 120 seconds or the 60 seconds is basically taking the uh, to serve that particular request. So, in order to do that, if your application logs maintains properly, then we can identify the which part of the code using the well, basically which way, which part of the code causing the latency. Now let us consider customer placing an order and that order is taking like a 120 seconds. Then we know which part of the code basically we can focus on and if your application having a proper logs like a debug logs or the error logs then we can track off each method how much it is going to take uh, take the um, to to basically complete that particular piece of uh, code or the particular uh, particular method. Now, if your application does not have the proper logging, then you have to manually place the some more loggers to your uh, code, and then you have to trigger the request and see which uh, piece of code is basically causing the issue. Now, when it comes to the application, there are two things. One, it could be issue with the database side, or the second one is the issue issue can be the application side. Now, in order to troubleshoot, if you identify there is an issue with the SQL queries causing the uh, latency, then you can basically find out what is the SQL query and use the explain plan to see where exactly the time is basically consuming and you can basically tune that query to optimize the performance. Let us consider your uh, SQL queries are uh, fine, then we have to see the from the application code point of view which logic is basically taking the more time and we have to optimize that particular area. So these are the different uh, um, different steps are the different use cases basically you have to consider whenever you are troubleshooting the performance for your application. So based on the area where you have find the um, issue, we have to take the action against that. Let us consider your load balancer itself it is uh, very slow then the focus will be you have to basically um, you know check with the load balancer or the who is the admin for that and we have to check with them if it is related to the jvms or the servers are running slow then we have to check with the server team to see why the servers basically jvms are going down or is there any memory uh, spikes are happening for your um, application while application usage then we have to focus on that particular area why there is a spikes in this particular um, period either it could be a number of the concurrent users more all of a sudden goes up and coming down so those type of things we have to trouble uh, we have to figure out if there is any uh, issue with the internet then you have to basically talk with the network team to make sure that your internal uh, internet is uh, up and uh, network should not be having any dip, uh, latency if you have a latency then automatically your application uh, also experience the similar latency so hope you clear with the what are the areas you basically focus to troubleshoot the performance issues and in the during the interview you need to make sure that as per your application consider these are the use cases and you can explain them how you can basically troubleshoot your uh, performance of your application thanks for watching have a nice day